Okay, so here's a quick video on how to unbrick your MX3. Um, I recently bricked one of mine, but and after a whole weekend of trying to flash loads of different firmware, I still couldn't get it working. Uh, luckily, I had another spare box which I was able to copy the uh, make a backup of the ROM so I could put it on this. So let's start. So the first problem is you flashed a bad firmware on there and you just get a red light when you turn it on. You can't get into a bootloader, you can't do anything in order to um, even install a new ROM on there. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need an OTG cable. You're going to need the files that I've posted with this. You're going to need a USB mouse, an SD card, a toothpick. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to plug in, we're going to put our toothpick in the hole, getting ready um, to uh, push the reset switch. Put the power in, okay. Next, OTG cable. Make sure you haven't got anything else plugged in and there's no SD card in there. Plug the OTG cable in uh, into the computer. Okay, so next what I've done is I've loaded um, the USB burning ROM 2.0.5. As you can see, it's in Jap in uh, Chinese. I'm going to switch that to English quickly. All right. So when you install this, um, it'll ask you to install some drivers. Install those. So the first time you boot this, we do um, we go into recover. Uh, we try and boot it. It's going to install the drivers. Okay. So back over to here. So what we're going to try and do now is we're going to push the toothpick in to hit the reset button. And we're going to hold the power button down. And we're going to hear an install. Installing device. I'm going to let go now. Wait that to finish installing. What we can do is also here just click uh, skip obtain drivers from Windows um, from online and it'll basically all search your computer. So hopefully it's now should find the ones that were installed, the World Cup drivers, and what it should do is bring up this kind of grid. And what you will see is one of these hubs will say connect successful. If it's on connect successful, then you're connected to the device. Next thing to do is go to file, import image. Now I tried all these different ROMs in order to try and flash it onto my device. Uh, onto my box and none of them works. Um, the only one that did work and the only one I'm going uh, to include with this video is this one, the Aylmer Upgrade Package. And what that does is um, uh, it installs, installs the uh, um, original bootloader on but you're still not going to get your functionality back. So we want to try and get so we can get to the bootloader part. First thing to do is click that. On all the other ones I've got, I got image pass failure. On this one is the only one I didn't get it. So, okay, so it's now, <coughs> now loaded and you can see the start buttons, start buttons here. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna leave all these settings as it is and click start. So it's gonna now try to install that image onto the onto the box. So this will take a couple of minutes, and I'll come back once it's done. So now we can see it's 100% successful. It's all completed. So what we're going to do is take our, our USB and then click stop, 
and that part of the process is done. So what we should now be getting, we should probably see a blue light. Take out the OTG cable. And I'm just gonna restart the device quickly just to see, show you what we get on screen. So hopefully now, give it a couple of minutes. you'll see the Mbox Make Your Life Colourful logo appear. That's gonna go on for a while. And what you're gonna get is, you're gonna get a blank screen with, if you hit the mouse or hit, the soon after this. While that's happening, I want to plug in my mouse into one of the USB. And as you can see, it's on the screen, it's still showing Mbox. I don't think you want to see much of that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull the power out. Put the power back in. Get the um, toothpick ready. Next, what you're gonna need on here, on your SD card, is um, the twerk recovery. I'll include that. And a link to other versions of twerk recovery if you wanna try another one, if it doesn't work for you. And also a copy of my ROM. Um, and I'll put details of the copy of my ROM on there as well. This is just a stock ROM by the way, and that's well, the one I backed up off a good box. Stick that in. Now I'm going to do the power trick again. So, um, push the toothpick in till you hear it click the reset button. Hold the power button down. Now if you look at the screen, you'll see M8S, this is from the last firmware flash we did. And that's our MX3 M8S. And now what we've done is we've booted into twerk recovery. Okay, so this is why you need the mouse, because you can't do it with the uh, remote. Swipe across, and the first thing what we wanted to do, go to is restore change our storage to external, press OK, and you'll see the package there that I've backed up. Everything should be highlighted. Swipe to restore. As you can see, it's going through the different parts, restoring it all. So this will take a couple of minutes. And I'll get back to you once it's done. We can see the uh, restore completed successfully. So what we can do now is hit reboot. couple of minutes and fingers crossed it should now boot back in to the stock ROM fingers crossed Yeah, we're in. So 
Uh, let's quickly check the settings, make sure our Wi Fi is everything's okay. Yeah, we've got our Wi Fi, you can just check that out. Got no Ethernet connected. Um, just an Ethernet test. Shit. Well, that's no, not going to work. One second. Yep, looks like we've done that worked okay. Check other. This is the stock ROM. 3.1033 Ubuntu at Google server. Dash one, uh, hash one MX3. So now we're back to where we originally started. So I hope that helps some people. I'll include the um, image files and everything that you need for this tutorial um, with this video. Thanks.